Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to Globetrotter Arabic. I am in the train station and I have my keyboard with me, I'm taking it home. And let me show you around. So this is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson to my Lebanese Arabic students. Before I begin, I have a low voice because I'm a bit shy. I feel awkward to speak on my own. So before I begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the bell here on YouTube so that you can receive notifications from me every time I upload a new lesson. I'm going to just talk about the situation here. So to begin with, I'm going to say I'm in the train station. Anna, B, Hattat. Train. train in French. Some people even say it in Lebanese train. And I'm being hot the train, although we don't have trains in Lebanon, so maybe we don't even say it. But for trains, we say train. So, Anna, B, I am in, hot the train. I'm taking my keyboard home, so I'm gonna say, I'm bechut. I'm taking. Bechut is I take. When I add the am, it becomes I am taking. I'm bechut. El org. We say org, in, uh, although it's not a, although it's not an Arabic word, but we use it. So, am bechud el org, al bet. Al means to the, and bet means home. So, am bechud el org, al bet. I'm learning the piano, by the way. So, ana am betalam. I am learning. Ana betalam is I learn. Ana am betalam. I am learning. Ana am betalam. Piano, the piano. Or I can say Ana am betalam. Elab play. Am betalam elab. I'm learning to play. Am betalam elab. Piano. I'm teaching myself, so I'm gonna say Ana am betalam hale. So betalam is I teach. Ana am betalam. I am teaching. أنا عم بعلم حالي. I am teaching myself بالكتب by books or in the books. So أنا عم بعلم حالي بالكتب. I want to say it's been since January, although it's on and off. So صار لي من صار لي من كنون التاني. كنون التاني is January. So صار لي من كنون التاني. It's been since January. Okay, so the way I'm saying it is sar le. It's one word, but it comes from sar ele. Sar means it happened. Ele means for me. When I say sar ele, which I pronounce as sar le, it doesn't mean it happened to me. No, it it we use it to say it's been. So, wasal el tra. The train arrived. Wasal el tra. Fit khir. There is a delay. There was a delay. Can fit khir. There was a delay. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Rahwa if, rahwa if. I'm gonna stop, and I'll continue later. Bye. Guess what? I have been recording only to realize I wasn't. So I am in the area between Embankment and Charing Cross. It's a very beautiful street with lots of restaurants, lots of shops. So let's talk about this. I just came out of the station. I'm gonna say, Ana hella dharet. I just came out. أنا هلا ظهرت من المحطة. أنا I هلا now ظهرت came out من المحطة from the station. كتير برد. It's very cold. كتير برد. كتير برد. مثل العادة as usual. مثل العادة في لندن كتير برد. I said as usual. It's very cold in London. مثل العادة في لندن كتير برد. So there is a flower shop next to the station. So let's talk about it. I'm gonna say, "Fi mahal zhur," a shop of flowers. "Fi mahal zhur," had the mahatta next to the station. So mahatta is a feminine word. It has a t t marbuta in the end. It's a t that we don't pronounce mahatta, but we don't say mahatat. But the moment I follow that word, the feminine word. With a noun, I have to pronounce the T. So in this case, if I say, for example, mhatut embankment, I'm not going to say mhatta embankment because I'm following it with the name of the station. I can also say, for example, mhatut tra, a train station, because I'm following it with another noun, which is a train. I'm taking my. 
keyboard home. I'm learning the keyboard. So I'm gonna say, Ana Hemli. Hemli means I am the carrier, which means I am carrying. Ana Hemli Org. I am carrying my keyboard. Ana Am Bechud. I'm taking. Bechud is I take. Am Bechud. When I add the Am, means I am taking. Ana Am Bechud Al Org Al Bet. Ana Am Bechud Al Org Al Bet. Org is not an Arabic word, but we use it like that in Lebanon. Ana Am Bechud Al Org Al Bet. وأنا عم بتعلم بيانو I'm learning the piano وأنا عم بتعلم بيانو عم بتعلم I am learning so أنا بتعلم I learn أنا عم بتعلم I am learning the piano I'm carrying so many things so أنا عم بتعلم بيانو I can also say أنا عم بتعلم العب بيانو that's the iconic black cab التاكسي الأسود the black cab okay so أنا عم بتعلم العب to play piano there is a shop of souvenirs here let's see it yeah so I want to say this is a shop of souvenirs هيدا محل souvenirات you know the word souvenir is a French word souvenir but we take it and we add the at to it to make it an Arabic. Oh my God, one sec. So we take the word and we add the at to it to make it an Arabic word and change it into plural. This is a shop, souvenirat of souvenirs. sushi. And this is a sushi shop. sushi. طيب. I'm gonna say uh, people are coming out of work. الناس, the people, الناس, pronounced as الناس, الناس ظاهرة من شغلة. ظاهرة. Again, um, it's not like the people are coming out. It's like I'm saying the people are the comers out. <laughs> it doesn't exist in English. But the people are coming out الناس ظاهرة من شغلة from their work من شغلة الناس ظاهرة من شغلة so I want to say أنا ماشية من محطة embankment لا محطة Charing Cross to Charing Cross station أنا ماشية من محطة embankment لا محطة Charing Cross وهيدا مطعم تاني هيدا Matam Tene. I'm saying this is another restaurant. But in fact, I am saying this is a second restaurant. Tene. This is a second restaurant. Um, what else can I say? Let's say, for example, Fiktir Sueh. Sueh means tourists. Fiktir Sueh Behaida Shira. Fi means there is. Sueh means tourists be in Haida this al shira the street this the street which means this street fi ktir sueh bi Haida al shira sueh is the plural form but in the singular we say sayeh sayeh fi ktir sueh bi Haida al shira oh a shop of sweets just what I love. There you go. The kingdom of sweets. Okay, I don't know if you can read that. The kingdom of sweets. Kingdom in Arabic means mamlake. Mamlake. Uh, sweets means halwayet. So I can say mamlakit. <laughs> it's funny to say that in Arabic. Mamlakit el halwayet. The kingdom of sweets. So again, you see the word mamlake, which means kingdom, is a feminine word. It has a te marbuta, which I didn't pronounce. But um, when I added a noun to it, in this case, halwayet, sweet, I pronounced the te marbuta and I said mamlakit al halwayet instead of mamlake al halwayet. Let me actually um, turn my camera because I just arrived to the other station. Ana halla. وصلت وصلت means I arrived 
انا هلا وصلت على المحطه الثانيه ماي هاندز ار شيكينج اوكي سو انا هلا وصلت على المحطه الثانيه اي دونت نو اف يو كان سي ات اي يا يو كان سي ذا سيمبل اوف ذا ستيشن سو انا هلا وصلت اي ناو ارايف على المحطه الثانيه تو ذا اذر ستيشن اي ام غونا شو يو اراوند بيفور اي فينيش ذس فيديو But first, let me tell you thank you, shukran kteer, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. And something very, very nice would be, by the way, I want to ask you to do it. Um, write down all the sentences that you hear in every video, write them down, keep saying them out loud, repeat after me, because this is the only way for you guys to become um, fluent. If you just listen to my videos, yeah, that's useful, but it would be much more useful if you actually write them down write them down and say them out loud if you want you can do a homework and you can leave all the sentences we've done in this video in the comment box below okay thank you very much i leave you now bye bye